Good morning, traders. Pupple Wall Street back with another stock chart review. This is a continuation of my Tesla bear case that I put out earlier in the week. If you haven't seen that video, I'll pop it up here uh, in the card up above. Feel free to watch that video first before continuing on this, but it's not actually 100% necessary. I'll do a quick overview of what I am seeing. So please keep in mind, I'm doing this for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And uh, of course, if you have uh, the time, make sure to like. And of course, if you like this content, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, if you agree with my thesis, if you disagree with my thesis, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comments. So let's take a quick look at the Tesla weekly chart. As I ma mapped out in that original video, what I believe we have is a wave one, two, wave three, four, wave five. That completes our five wave up. And generally what you see after a five wave impulse move higher, you get an ABC correction. Now it could be a little bit more complex I've had some a little bit of pushback on this actually being ABC, maybe a WXY, a potato, potato. If it's right or if it's wrong, I still feel regardless of the structure of the pullback, I still feel like this is where we're coming between 500 and 550. So we've already made that wave A that came up. That, that was our first test of 700. And we had a counter trend rally up to about 1200 right we made a lower high off of the all-time high and now we should see a move of equal weight from here to here what i also do is i take a 138 extension fibonacci extension off of wave b that gives me this target zone below it can continue lower it can come down to a 1618 and i believe i have that mapped out on the daily chart so, um, yeah, let's just take a quick look and see. Let's, let's drop a 200 simple moving average. So you can see that's right now, that's down at 391. We drop a 50. We're below that. So we're in between the 50 and the 200. A little closer to the 50 than the 200 at the moment. Uh, but that's where we're at. Um, this is the COVID low anchored VWAP. You could see that's right inside my target zone, right at that 1382 Fibonacci extension to the downside. So that leads me to believe that it's possibly a good, a good signal. And also we have plenty of room here on RSI to fall to oversold conditions. And you could see back here in, uh, I think that was around May or June of 2019, we also came down to oversold conditions and bounced. And so that leads me to believe we will grind down to oversold conditions. And then at that point, we probably are going to be close to this target zone. That's where I would look for a bigger bounce. And from here, what I would watch for is a bullish structure, maybe you know, a series of higher highs and higher lows, maybe a, a one, two, one, two type of setup. That's what I would be looking for off of that level. And again, these levels uh, using Elliott Wave, using Fibonacci, they're never exact. You know, it's funny when people come and say, oh, well, you missed you missed the target by X, Y, Z. And that's why I treat these as zones, right? Target zone. I'm not saying it's going to hit 532. It might be somewhere between 500 and 550. You know, I think as we get closer to that level, you know, you could look at the wave structure on the lower time frames and get a little bit more targeted on the price. But for now, it's just a zone. Uh, because truth be told, this could be the end of wave C. We can get a double bottom here, right? And start to move higher. Where would it confirm over a double bottom? We would need to get over wave B. So if we do see a bounce, a bigger bounce here at 700 and currently, well, I'll go to the daily chart now, but we're, we're, we're under that. So I think double bottom territory, uh, let me turn on after hours. Um, well, actually, no, we're sitting right on 700. So it is fighting 700. You could see how yesterday's 
candle came right down to 700 and we bounced. I mean, there's no surprise. You know, you saw this wick right here. The low of this wick on February 24th was 691.62. So technically, we can come back down to that level. We'll look at this candle right here. This came down to 680 on the low, right? So double bottom territory, maybe, maybe not, right? Um, I think below 680, you know, 659, 643, 627, you know, this brings us from the August 2020 anchored VWAP low to the June 2020 anchored VWAP low. I, I like using these anchored VWAPs. It tells us where uh, where the buyers and the sellers uh, in terms of a profitability are. So that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at here. Um, these are the levels that I'm going to be watching to the downside. And like anything else, it's not going to be a waterfall. It's not going to, unless there's some type of black swan event that brings the market down. It, it, this market, you know, it, it's it's been grinding down. It, we haven't seen big capitulation days. Yesterday on the queues, I think we were down more than 4%. Uh, that was definitely the biggest drawdown on the queues to date for this year. But we're not seeing, you know, huge candles to the downside. We're just, it's like death by a thousand cuts. And I think that's what we're seeing here. And and you can see it in the in the structure here, right? So you have a push down, you have a counter trend rally. You have a push down, you have a counter trend rally. You have a push down, you have a counter trend rally. And now we're pushing back down. So these, these counter trend rallies and these pushes down are very tradable. But you it's very difficult to be holding trades overnight. Um, I think as a, as a as a day trader and a scalper, uh, a lot of them that are you know comfortable trading the volatility are, are doing really well. But the swing traders out there um, definitely struggling to to get a handle on what's going on in this market. Um, the other thing to note too is you see a lot of times in these waves you see tr you know uh, three waves right, so A B C. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, right? And then usually in our C wave, we get a five wave move down. So it could be one, two, three. Maybe we get a bounce here, maybe some sort of triangle forming, right? And then this wave sends us down. That's really what I'm looking for because this all looks like very orderly selling. There's no like, uh, like you know, here you see kind of like a triangle with that push down, right? One, two, three, four, five. It looks like a very clear five wave structure in this subwave AC. So this is why I think I got a little pushback on an ABC where it's probably a WXY. Um, again, the most important thing to keep in mind is 700. 700 must hold for Tesla. It's okay if it closes under 700 for a day or two, but the longer it stays under 700, the more likelihood that lower price targets are gonna come into play. All right, so let me go on, let me just drop out. I'm gonna go down to the COVID low. I'll drop an anchored VWAP there as well. And let's see where that settles. Yeah, so that's right inside my target zone. What we're seeing is on a lot of stocks, especially the indices, uh, the Qs have already lost their COVID low anchored view app. SPY is headed towards that likely this week. So this is, again, what leads me to believe, you know, a lot of, a lot of the story is telling me this is where we're headed. We're headed for a retest of the COVID low. We're headed for the prior wave four lows, right? Usually when you get that five wave, uh, that fifth wave high, whatever price structure to the downside, whether it's an ABC, a WXY, it generally comes down to the prior wave four low. That's exactly where this target zone lies. And then of course, the FIB extension off of wave B, bringing us right to that 1382 extension at 521. So again, just... We're building the story. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to um, validate the thesis that I am seeing uh, in terms of price structure. Overall, the market looks very weak. And Tesla, whether it's Tesla bringing the market down or market bringing Tesla down, I think potato, potato, right? Uh, Tesla is the market right now. So if Tesla falls, it brings the market down with it. 
if the market falls, it's going to bring Tesla down with it. Um, they're, they're two in the same at this point. So here on the daily chart, you can see we're already bouncing off of these oversold uh, conditions. Let's look a little bit back in history and see, do we get any dips below? So here you get a little bit of a dip below oversold conditions on RSI, a little bit here as well. This one bounced right off of it. So again, we could see a little bit more capitulation here. We could see a little bit more selling. Um, here, look back here, you could see... Um, Bounced off, came back up, rejected by 50, came back down, big sell. And now you see a series of higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, right? Higher highs, higher lows. So that's what we really want to see if we want to say the bottom is in. And certainly we're not even close to that right now. So let's just take a quick look at the 30-minute chart. I'm going to take after hours off. And let's see. Yeah, so look, we're already breaking down from a wedge. So that's, you know, that's certainly not a good sign. We're already starting to break down here. And uh, generally, like when I see these these wedges, look at this bear flag right here. I mean, this is all very, very tradable, right? There's your, bla there's your bear, uh, bear flag breakdown right here, right? Here's like a, a bear pennant breakdown. We can measure the height, the breadth of the triangle, and that would give us a potential price target to the downside of $600, right? So, you know, these, these kind of patterns that set up, you know, here's a descending triangle, right? Low, back into the high, low, low, low. How can we measure that? Well, the breadth of the move. Well, looky here. There's the bottom of that move, right? So, yeah, I mean, this is this is what I do on a daily basis. I'm um, identifying where the weakness and where the strength is in the market, and I'm just trading them accordingly. You look at the higher time frames to get the overall trend, but you could drill down into the lower time frames. Like for me, like is it, uh, if I want to day trade uh, Tesla, I'm looking at the 30 minute at the at the highest time frame and then i'm going to start drilling down i'll look at like you know the 15 minute i'll look at you know the five minute and i'm and observing you know price action uh, accordingly and you know using fibonacci work using a little elliott wave um, to project where price may go so let's go back up to the daily and uh, let's wrap this up so i think again just to reiterate uh watch 700 dollars on tesla if we start to see multiple day closes under 700, I think the likelihood we're coming down to 600 is very, very likely. We lose 600, then it opens up my bear case uh, target of around 521 to 530, but a broader range between 500 and 550. Again, using this as a target zone, um, I might get a little bit more sniper-like in terms of price targets once we get a little closer. And again, that I'll just look at wave structure. I'll look at Fibonacci and, and I'll let that guide me. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this update. If you want to see more, please let me know. More than happy to do uh, at the very least a weekly update on Tesla for those that are interested. But uh, I'll do it if you guys let me, and guys and gals, let me know. So let me know in the comments. Let me know by the likes on the video. And certainly, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Um, got a good response from that video, the initial um, Tesla bear case video. I'll pop it up above again just uh, for those that missed it. And uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I'll look at some other charts, uh, some other ticker names and and do similar videos. And again, if you if you like this type of analysis, please let me know. And I'll get you more videos coming out shortly. So have a great day. Stay safe out there. Bear markets are no fun. But always remember, bears go back to hibernate. Have a great day.